Today, I'll be walking you through the ins and outs of our Whova event and conferencing app that we'll be using for upcoming Diosim convention. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started by opening up the Whova app. It will take you to the home page of the app. You can tell where you are at all times by looking at the bottom bar and seeing what is highlighted in blue. Right now, home is highlighted in blue, so you know that is where you are. On this page, you will also find the event title and description, as well as a section on additional resources. While there are a lot of resources listed, we're only going to be looking at about four that we will be using during convention. First, let's click on the photo section. In this section, event attendees can upload photos of their convention setups, whether it be a behind the scenes photo of them getting ready, a photo of them discussing, or something of the like. This is gonna be a great way for us to share in community, even if we are not physically together like conventions of the past. As you can see, there are already two photos uploaded of the diocesan staff preparing for convention. People can upload their own photos by clicking the blue button at the bottom that says Upload Photos. Next up, we're going to look at the Documents section. In this section, we will be storing all of the documents for convention. This will be regularly updated as we draft new documents, upload PowerPoints, and the like. Right now, you can see there are three documents available. At any time, you can visit this section to find all documents for convention, as well as click and expand the documents to view them. For example, let's click on the Proposed 21 budget. Here you can pull up the document as well as have the option to export it to your phone or mobile device. When you're finished, press Home. The next section we're going to take a look at is the Speaker section. Here you can see that we have one speaker lined up for Convention 2020, Dr. Katherine Meeks of the Absalom Jones Center. If you click on her name, you'll be taken to her profile where you can read more about who she is and what she does. If you click on the Read More section of her bio, you can expand it to learn more about her, as well as find contact information, her PowerPoint, or any more information about where she works. This is going to be a great way to get ready to listen to her speech at convention. Last but not least, we're gonna take a look at the website section. This opens up our Diocesan Convention page if you feel more comfortable navigating here. This is also a great place to access the tutorials for virtual convention section in case you need to brush up on your skills for any of the platforms we'll be using. You can find Zoom, Whova, and additional tutorials in this section. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a look at the agenda on the bottom. So if you click on agenda, you can see that the two days available are the 13th and the 14th, the two dates of our diocesan convention. Each page has its own events that are happening on that day, and you can see the date and the time as well. If you click on an event, you can open it up to learn more about it. In this overview section, if you click read more, you will find important information about this session as well as the Zoom link and password. If you navigate back to the agenda page, you will see that we are currently in the full agenda section, highlighted in white at the top. If you want to use the full agenda, basically that shows you all of the upcoming events, you are welcome to, but I'm also going to quickly show you how to create your own personal agenda. First off, click on an event that you plan to attend, and at the top, click on the button that says Add to My Agenda. It will ask if you want to set a reminder. I'm going to set a 10-minute reminder before. And it will be added to your personal agenda, meaning that you will show up as attending this event, and it will also show up in the My Agenda section of the app. This is a great option if you want to use it, but it's not required. Next up, let's move on to the attendees section. Here you will be able to see all of the people attending upcoming virtual convention, as well as their affiliations, such as their parish or their education. You can also see yourself at the top, and this is a great way to edit your information if you feel there's anything that you wanna change. Simply click on your name, click edit my profile, 
and add any information that you feel like you missed or update your profile picture. When you navigate back to the main attendees page, you can also search for attendees using the search icon at the top of the screen. Click on the icon and type in the name of who you're looking for. If you see them pop up, you can also click on their profile to make sure that they're the person you're looking for and send them a message if you wish. Next up, we're gonna move on to the community section. This section is where you can receive announcements from the organizer or ask the organizer questions. While there are lots of other forums available, we recommend just focusing on these top two to keep things the least complicated as possible. In the top section, you'll receive announcements from the organizers that are broadcast to everyone, such as 10 minutes left, here's a new Zoom link, or any important information that everybody should know. Right now you can see we don't have any, but this is a great place to check and you'll receive push notifications on your tablet or mobile device from this as well. Back in the forum, you can also click Ask Organizer Anything. This is a great place to ask questions about the Whova app or any sort of general convention questions that you would like to talk about with diocesan staff. All right, moving on to the last section, we're in Messages. So you will also be receiving any announcements from the organizer in this section as well. So don't worry about missing out on those announcements. You can see in fact that we already have a message from one of the organizers about convention and you will also receive any messages sent directly to you from any other delegates or members of convention. You can also write your own message by clicking the message icon in the top right corner and clicking on the 98th annual convention to find the contact you want to message. I'm going to send a message to Augusta. And there we have it. So hopefully you'll be able to navigate through the Whova app. And if not, you know where to go to ask for help. And we look forward to seeing you at Virtual Convention 2020. Thanks so much.